Now, let's talk about bow tie diagrams. Bow tie diagrams are one of the most common risk management tools that are widely used in many industries nowadays. They simply visually represent the relationship between the reasons and the consequences of undesirable events. They also show the position of barriers either to prevent or to mitigate the consequences of undesirable events. Let's talk about the sequence of developing any bow tie diagram. First, identify the hazard, then identify the top event when we lose control over the hazard, then identify what are the ultimate consequences if we lose control. This is very important before progressing. If there are no significant consequences, we may decide not to proceed in developing the scenario, or at least we can save our time in digging deeper. But if the consequences are catastrophic, we may have to discuss all the details. The first step is to identify the potential threats that could lead to the top event, and then we will locate the existing or required barriers on each bus. At this point, we have developed the bow tie diagram in its standard form. We may now dig deeper in each barrier to identify the degradation factor that could affect the strength of the barrier and the degradation controls we use to prevent this impact. And finally, we may discuss the responsibilities for each barrier and identify which activity is required to ensure the effectiveness of the barrier. Let's give a general example. A car is a hazard. The top event will be the loss of control during driving. The consequences could be damage to the asset or fatalities. Then let's define our threats that could lead to the control loss over the car. Poor road conditions, poor car conditions, and a driver problem. Now, let's find what barriers exist in each path. In the next video, we will generate a Wu Tai together. See you then.